Well, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online in the ass in the in the ass episode. In the last episode, we were doing what waits beneath, and we're trying to clear out this barrow for this evil-sounding dragon priest. And we're gonna go ahead and continue. If we take a look at our skills menu, just to recap, we do have two abilities in the Assassination Tree of the Night Blade. Uh, class and that's assassin's blade where we stab an enemy and it does extra damage at low health and teleport strike where we teleport to an enemy and strike them and right now I have a sword in one hand and an axe in the other and we're good to go and I'm gonna be playing in third person for this uh, episode just because I want to go ahead and test that out and if you haven't been watching the previous episodes you'll notice that we are in a uh, Skyrim barrel we're actually in Solstein right now so how cool is that okay so we need to sanctify the priest body and uh, in here I'm guessing that's where this is going to happen at this altar or something okay so Haldren use Haldren is the uh, dragon priest let's go ahead and use that and see what happens you fulfilled your purpose well done work you'll never defeat the covenant okay and we have a skeletal warrior Destroy. here and severing Charnus I guess that's the Daggerfall Covenant person that we need to take out my god these people are doing a lot of damage to me okay let's run away really quickly I'm gonna actually zoom in for this fight because it's a little disorienting oh we died your equipped items have lost durability wonderful choose where to arrive nearest way shrine or here uh, let's go with here not sure if we need like a party to take on these people I did grind a little bit on skeletons outside but I'm not sure okay so now we're ethereal for a second here and I forget what it's going to take to uh, get us back. Can we get this guy in our party? Let's see. Where are you going, buddy? No. All right. Well, maybe you can help me out with this guy anyways. All right. So this guy's only level two anyways. I mean, he shouldn't be that difficult. Let's go ahead and zoom out because I do want to show off third person. We're going to go ahead and use the teleport strike. Or not. Use the teleport strike. But it's going to go to this guy and I didn't want it to do that. All right. Let's uh, focus Severin Charnus because he's probably going to be doing the most damage and then we'll just assassinate him. Boom. There we go. Let's search his body and find one gold. And do we have any more enemies? No. But we do have something over here that we need to look at. Scroll of Banishment. Let's examine that. Okay, Severin Charnus, the vile practice of necromancy is forbidden within the Lion Guard. You are hereby banished from Covenant Domains. You have been remanded to General Syrian. He is traveling south on a military campaign. He may use you as an asset in any way he sees fit. May Akash have mercy on your soul. Lord General Averos. Alright, so I guess we can't take that. We can just basically activate that. Okay, um, anything else in here? We do have a couple of red lips which should mean that there are enemies but I'm not seeing any and right now all we have to do is leave Sky Shroud Barrow. So I was looking at the comments of the first episode because I am recording as many of these videos as I possibly can and I think I'm going to be able to record one more because this weekend was a really bad weekend for me to be playing the Elder Scrolls online basically uh, because I just had so much stuff to do but yeah I think I'm going to get to do uh, one more video and then we'll have to wait for the next beta event or for the actual game to come out in a month. The Let's talk to Darsh. What did you do? I found evidence of a necromancer working with the Covenant. The Covenant here? Troll's blood, I have to warn the village. I'll head back. See if you can find any of the other villagers on the island. We may have to evacuate soon. Okay, we'll get Darja's shield, and we will get 73 gold. Let's complete that I quest. I thought those milk drinkers would leave their cozy taverns to come down here. I'll have to get this wound seen to, then. I'm going to need my sword arm. What now, Darge? If that necromancer was working for the Covenant, we're all in danger. I'll head back to the village to prepare our defenses. You need to search the island for villagers and send them back to Bleak Rock Village. Good luck! I'll find as many as I can. Alright, start a black Bleak Rock Village objective. Looking for people. Look for people missing from Bleak Rock Village. Okay. And I think we actually leveled up our assassination. Let's see if we can um, increase any of the stats that we have. We're, we're fairly close to leveling up to level 4, too. Okay, so no uh, assassination rank 20, 30, and 42. Yeah, so we're actually pretty far from getting any of that stuff. I wonder if it would be more economic to actually start leveling up through other trees. Shadow Cloak, uh, invis invisibility for 2.5 seconds this is on the, doesn't sound that great to me. However, Strife does. We can regain some health. That sounds interesting. I'm going to go ahead and get that. Yeah, and we'll put that on three. Okay, so what are we doing right now? I found evidence that the blah blah blah, we need to evacuate as soon as possible, but anyone who doesn't rally to the village will be left behind and must decide whether there's enough time to recover all the villagers before preparing to depart. And how we cycle through all of our quests, or is this the only one that we have at the moment? I guess it is. Okay, so let's press M to show on the map. 
And then, uh, that's where it is. Alright. Let's go ahead and walk over there, then, and see, uh, what we can do. So we have, like, one quest objective over there, and we have one over there. What does that say? Investigate Way Shrine and tell Captain Rana to evacuate early. I don't think we want to do that. I'm saying we should probably try and evacuate as many people as possible. And I notice you do take falling damage, by the way. Looks like I have a little chat icon on the left there. I'm not going to go ahead and open that just in case it's private or something. But I guess one of you guys sent me a message. Uh, okay, so let's go investigate this way shrine. And I'm assuming there's no way to fast travel. Although, again, you know, I might be completely dead wrong. I really don't know a lot about this game and it sucks. But uh, I try. Okay, so what's up, dude? I'm not sure if this is going to have anything to do with the quest that we're currently doing right now, if it's just a side quest. Let's kill this wolf, though. I'm going to use my new skill I have. Oh, wow, that's actually pretty powerful, but this is a level 2 wolf, so nothing. it's not going to really be a challenge anyways. Alright, let's keep moving. Um, if things take too long, I think I'm going to just skip to where I need to go to, but it looks like we're pretty close here anyways. I'm surprised at the amount of FPS's that I can record at, because this looks amazing on my monitor right now, and uh, it's not lagging me at all, and this is open world obviously, so I'm really happy about that. Alright, let's sheet these weapons and uh, go investigate this. Bleak Rock Way Shrine, let's use that. Fast Travel Network, okay, that answers my question about the Fast Travel. Way Shrines are a fast and inexpensive way to travel. Using a Way Shrine will give you access to the Fast Travel Network, allowing you to travel instantly to any Way Shrine you have previously discovered anywhere in the world. Wonderful, so that's our Fast Travel. Um, what you might call it? Uh, system. Okay, so we still have a quest mark here. Can we, like, uh, what? Are we supposed to use it? Uh, we can travel back to Cold Harbor, it looks like. Or can we? Or do we need to actually activate a way shrine? Not sure. Anyways, find the missing villagers, optional steps, tell Captain Verona to evacu ac evacuate early. Let's go over here, though, because we have another quest objective, and this might be a villager that we need to find or something. Uh, okay, can I help you with something? I, I can understand you. Oh my, I'm not a skeever. Are you supposed to be a skeever? No, no. Follow me. I'll show you. Alright, lead on. Okay, so I guess this is just a random side quest that we can undertake. And uh, she was squeaking like an animal because I guess she thought she was a, a skeever or something. Maybe she was transformed by a wizard? I have no idea. Regardless, let's go ahead and follow her. And it looks like they've retained the icon of the mine from Skyrim because there's some sort of mine in the distance over there. Okay, pick up the wand. Okay, let's take this gnarled wand. Um, this warped piece of wood has a carved Daedric symbol on its base. Interesting! Let's take it. And uh, now we need to talk to her, okay. Oh, thank kind. You have it. Can you explain what's going on? My friends and I were out hunting in the woods when a mad mage ran up and began throwing spells at us. I think he only nicked me. He dropped that wand in the snow as he left. What does the wand do? I don't know how spells work. I tried picking up the wand, but it wouldn't let me. I think it does the spell. Or undoes it. Look, my friends are Falta, Brend, and Runsenwild. They're skeevers now. Please find them and use the wand to fix them. I'll look for them, Mala. Okay, so it looks like these people are skeevers. And uh, we can go turn them back. Do we have to actually equip that wand, though? Let's take a look at our weapons here. It's not in there. Apparel, consumable materials, miscellaneous, quest, junk. Is it in quest? There it is. So I guess we can't equip it. Let's see what happens if we press E. Target either wrong type or too far away. Okay, um, so we have a quest objective over there, and back there is uh, the thing where we can go tell Rana to evacuate early. I think we're going to go ahead and do this, though, because in all honesty, it sounds more interesting to me. If nothing of interest is over here, then we will just continue on with the main quest. Does this deer have anything? No. Alright, so let's actually take a look at our... Ma oh, Jesus, okay. Or we can get attacked by this polar bear-looking thing. Alright, let's use the third skill, and then uh, the teleport strike. And then the assassination, just because I wanted to see it. Alright. Bear, do you have a death wish? Jesus, that was a nice attack, though. I have to hand it to you. Alright, let's take uh, that, and our medium armor increased to four. So it's like Skyrim in that, you know, when you use the skills, your stuff increases based on what you're using at the moment. Alright, wolf. Are you joking? Goodbye. 
Um, hmm. So it seems that you have to get to a close proximity for quests to actually show up on your map because now we have one thing over there, we have one thing over there, we have the Rana thing back there, and uh, we have something over there. So I think the black ones are relating to stuff that you're already in the middle of. So something tells me if I go over here we'll find a skeever that we will be able to transform back into either a Nord or an Argonian, I guess, depending on which one it is. Let's go this way. Orkies Hollow Discovered. Wonderful. And what's over here? Save Runs in Wild. So yeah, this is indeed... This does indeed go along with the quest that we're currently partaking in. Alright, let's use a power attack. And uh, I guess when they're doing power attacks, they get all that little light that's going into them or whatever. That's how you know they're doing a power attack. Alright, we'll take that Rawhide Scrap, which I'm not exactly sure what that is at the moment. Um... Okay, so it says save whatever her name is, but I'm not seeing a skeever or anything. That's not her, is it? It's just rabbit? Okay, uh... Where's the skeever, then? I'm not seeing one. Huh, let's take... Oh, there it is. Okay, uh, go, let's go ahead and use the Gnarled Wand. And, hopefully... Boom! Back to an Argonian. You're not even gonna thank me, you're just gonna run? Okay. Um, hmm... Now, I remember seeing another quest objective in that direction, so I will see you guys when I get there. And that turns out to be, like, literally, like, five seconds afterwards. Okay, so we have a Sky Shard here, which should give us a another skill point that we can use. Because that'll be our third, I believe, right? Gained one skill point, yeah. So let's open our character menu here and go into our skills. And just take a look, because I don't think we can put up anything at the moment. We can get Shadow Cloak, but I don't want it. Yeah, okay, so we'll just hold on to that skill point, and over here we have a person, which is Rolunda. What do you have to Come do with to anything? Come to prove your courage? So did my brother. Now he's gone. Your brother's missing? I'm in this inside this cave, somewhere. The frozen man does all sorts of things to people who enter his domain. I can't leave Ayman in there. Since father died and mother left, he's all I have. Who is this frozen man? No one knows. He takes people who enter Orchis Hollow. Now he's taken my brother. I should stop sharpening this blade. You must go inside. I, I just can't. Stay here. I'll find Iman. We knew a man, old Rory. He went in. When the soldiers dragged him out, he was missing all his bones. I'll give you until my fire burns out. Then I'm coming in after you. Okay, I'm not sure if that's actually a time constraint or not. Um, but anyways, no, don't do this. Yeah, for some reason there's this bug where like every time you're talking to a person, um, this has happened to me like three times now, it'll just freeze and you can't do anything um, to exit it and you sort of just have to start over again. And it's really annoying. I, I don't think there's anything we can possibly do, right? Yeah, I'm like stuck in this. So uh, I'll have to log out and log back in then we'll continue from there. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Okay, so yeah, that bug is really, really, really annoying. So we've been given another quest here, and I haven't really worked out what the quest icons have to do. So I guess when they have like a tiny little transparent circle behind them, that means that that is either an area where you need to look for a quest, or it's part of the quest that you're doing right now. Anyways, so let's press J and open up our journal here, and I want to do the Frozen Man, that sounds interesting. So we need to enter Orkley's, or, or what is it called? What is it? What does that say? Orkies, yes, we need to enter Orkies Hollow, and that's gonna be this way, and let's go do this, because this sounds really interesting to me, and every time there's like a boss, or some sort of mini boss or something, that's something that I wanna do. So let's head inside. Okay, enter Orkies Hollow, find Ivan, and that's exactly what we're going to do. I think when I play this, I'm gonna be playing in first person. I don't really like the third person, I just wanna try this out to, uh, you know, because that's how you usually play MOs. In fact, I think I'm going to zoom back in and we're gonna continue this in uh, first person. All right, so what's over here? This one's frozen. Is it someone you know? Guess who I am, and I might let him go. Oh, okay, so that's the Frozen Man. I thought that guy was talking to me, and I was like, wow, you are weird sounding. Okay, so we need to find Iman now, I guess. And I guess that's what that guy was doing. So let's head this way. Keep walking. There couldn't possibly be traps. Oh, I'm not scared of traps, buddy. And I don't see any anyway, so I don't know what you're talking about. I only see is, oh, I thought that bear was dead, and I was about to say a dead bear, but that bear is indeed not dead at all. So let's use our teleport strike, which is very cool, especially in third person, I think. And I'm going to try and use it in third person 
in a second. Alright, goodbye. And thank you for whatever you had in there. What are we doing right now? You make a lovely squirrel. So inquisitive. Uh, this campfire has been here for a day or two. The remains in the pit are cold. Cool. Okay, and what's this? Weather pack. Which has a mage's rune. This rune now shattered and unusable as a type used exclusively by mages. Its complexity indicates the vast amount of power it once held. Let's go ahead and take that. How rude! Digging through my things. What manners! Alright, so this is cool. So this is just like random side quests and they've actually put a nice bit of detail into it. We've got like unique voice work. We've got some unique quest objective. Now, of course, I haven't played this game long enough to know how unique all of the side quests are from each other, right? But, so far, I have to say, I don't really understand all the disappointment. Maybe this is not, you know, like a true 100% MMO, but the thing is, I don't really like MMOs. They were never really my type of game. So, so far, to me, as an Elder Scrolls fan, this is really enjoyable. I don't know. Look up, then... greedy squirrel. See something shiny? Don't break your neck. Okay, so I guess this guy's challenging me to a jump quest at the moment. Alright, bear, come on. What do you expect to... Oh my god, are you eating me right now? Yeah, let's go into third person and use that teleport strike because I love that animation, so... Boom! Although, I guess the only really point of it... Well, actually, I was using it before to uh, basically like start off in sneak mode and then... Um, basically teleport immediately to an enemy and get the sneak bonus. I'm assuming if there's a sneak mode, there's a sneak, sneak bonus. So let's jump up here. Someone didn't fare so well. Um, let's jump up here. There we go. And boom. What do we got here? Battered chest. Let's open that and find what? Dented helm. This helm, dented beyond repair, bears the sigil of the Aldmeri Dominion. Uh-oh. Let's take that. Astounding. You've accomplished the impossible. Leaping small rocks. I was about to say, if you if you really meant I accomplished the impossible, you must not have a good grasp on what's impossible. Okay, so we need to find one more thing that has to do with this guy, and then I'm assuming we're going to have to kill him and find uh, that woman's brother. Or I guess we already found him. That was the guy frozen in the beginning, right? All right, so in here, what do we have? My journal. Let's go ahead and read that then. Leave that be. That's private. No, it's not. All right, so it's one page, so we'll go ahead and read that. Fourth first seed. Bleak Rock is as cold as they told us it would be. I can't believe people live here. I'll steal their secrets quickly, as quickly as I can, then I'll return to the warmth of the woods. We have most of the information we need. The queen will be pleased. We'll leave tomorrow. I can't wait to thaw out my toes. I've been unconscious. How long was I out? The thing, the last thing that I remember was the cave, and was it the pack? Did they find us? Everyone else is dead, even Oriel. He fell in battle. I won't leave him to rot. Ever since the cave-in, magic gives me a headache. I can't dig out. There's too much rock. The only thing to eat is roots. What am I going to do? The roots were poisonous. Worse, I think they're hallucinogenic. I'm seeing my dead friends, Aroe, Tarek, even Oriel. What's happening to my mind? The squirrels are the problem. They cause the cave-in. They're in league with the shiny stones. I'll get them. So he's obviously going crazy. I found Arroway, a greedy squirrel hatter. She turned into a candelabra. The squirrel's gone now and she's back with me. I missed her. There's so many more to collect. Greedy squirrels tried to take my friends. I made them into icicles. So this man clearly went crazy and is feasting upon... No, well, not feasting. I don't mean to say that he's eating people. I mean, what he's just obviously... Thought, clever squirrel. Do you have a guess? Okay. Well, uh, you're not exactly what I expected. Digging away, puffy little cheeks. What have you found? You're a spy from the Aldmeri Dominion. A spy, am I? But why? Oh my, you're a smart one. Whatever will I do with you? I guess who you are. Let Iman go. That's no fun. Join me inside. We'll play a game of shells. Win, and you get Iman. Lose, and you'll be my newest squirrel. I'll never be your squirrel. All right, one more game. And where are we going? Is he teleporting me, or is he just teleporting himself inside there? Okay, let's enter the frozen man's lair. Hopefully, it's here not a trap. I am, or am I here? Guess wrong, and you're mine, my dear. Okay, find the real frozen man. That's our objective at the moment. So I'm guessing these people are gonna waken and start attacking us. Oh, those are his dead friends, aren't they? Yeah. All right. So. No fair. Wow. Well, that was easy. Oh, okay, I see a game of shells, so we basically have to find which one's the right one. And I'm guessing that's you? Don't talk to me. I'm a shrub. Let Iman go. Your soul is missing. Want mine? It's black and gooey. I won your game, now let Iman go, you crazy man. No, we're having old friends for supper. Drink some roots. Stay with us. You'll be safe here. 
Safe from what? The stones, the shiny ones. They're pretty until you turn your back, and then, whoosh, skulls implode, bones shatter. You're talking about a cave-in. This is my safest place. My friends are here. Don't take them. I don't want your friends, man. I just want Iman. Want, want, want. Greedy squirrels. We wanted to leave here, but then... Shiny stones. I ate them after. They were cold. They hurt my teeth. Okay, so now we have to convince him to release Iman. I'm not sure if any of these are the wrong thing to say. Um... What about this rune? Don't you want it back? It gives me headaches, and it tastes like sawdust. Go on, you eat it. Okay, Iman will die if you don't release him. People don't die. They change shape, like Arroway. She's a candlestick. She's bright as the stars. And Tarak? He's never been happier. Dude, you are freaking crazy. If you don't let him go, I'm going to have to hurt you. The shiny stones did that. The roots, the water, Oriel's three toes. I tried to save him, but his head wouldn't stop leaking. Now he's a milk jug. If our way's a candle and Oriel's a milk jug, that makes you a bear trap, doesn't it? What? So? So nobody wants to be caught in a bear trap, not even squirrels. That's... that's the first thing you've said that makes any sense. Fine. Take Ivan. Just leave my friends alone. And don't blame me if the shiny stones get you. Alright, buddy. I hope you uh, get some help, even though you're a ghost, so I think it's after the fact. Um, Alright, so I'm guessing it wants us to jump down here. And, uh, okay, so yeah, so there are a couple of platforms here. Alrighty. Uh, okay, and uh, now we can go free Iman, I'm assuming. Maybe that torch will, uh, oh no, he's already outside, okay. What happened? Did, did you see those Covenant soldiers? Covenant soldiers? I saw a group of them exploring the cave. They laughed at me, hanging in the ice. Then, the frozen man got them. Oh, I see. He's hallucinating, too. Let's get out of here, Iman. You don't have to tell me twice. Alrighty. Cool beans. Uh, you know, that's a cool quest, I gotta say. Um, I don't really... I, I just really don't get all the disappointment with this game. So far, it's a lot better than I expected. Because I keep saying I don't really like MMOs. And uh, part of that reason is because the quests are so boring and just bland. And that one was pretty interesting. So, I don't know. And I could have just, you know, bypassed that quest. Rolly, you came to save me. You're lucky I came at all. Ah, Rolanda, don't be like that. Him. The frozen man had him. He's all right now. Kind gift. We'll head back to the village right now. Rana's going to flay his full hide. I can't properly repay you, but please, take this. It was our mother's. Okay, and your mother had a freaking one-handed mace. Interesting. Bind on equip. That doesn't do anything. Uh, grants a 16-point damage shield for 5 seconds. Interesting. So it's like a unique weapon. Um, yeah, okay. Complete that quest. Boom. And then we have a uh, a new weapon here which we can equip. Let's go ahead and do that. Wonderful. And now we've got a nice mace rather than just a regular bland sword. And we've leveled up. So let's go ahead and do that as well. I'm going to put one point into health. And I think we're good. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to end it for this episode. Hope you guys are looking for the next one, and that's probably going to be the last one until I can have access to this game again. Thank you for watching, have a great day, and goodbye. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed watching that video. If you did, please consider leaving a like. Also, if you'd like to subscribe and or watch a video that's probably going to be related to the one that you just watched, you can click the annotations on the screen. Finally, if you want to help me grow my channel, you can also share this video on Facebook and Twitter by clicking share below the video. Regardless, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.